Coach said that the installation part of the offense is pretty much wrapped up. Kind of how would you assess that process the last two weeks? How do you feel with this new offense? Uh, I feel good. It looks like we're going to be throwing it pretty good. Um, I love to get the ball. I uh, love the way they're using me so far. Moving around pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got all of it in so far. You know, we got to run through it a couple more times, but I feel like we, uh, we're gelling pretty good this far in. So uh, it's only going to get better as we, you know, continue to work and get, you know, get the get it all the way down pack. How would you mean? describe the way they are using you and how is that maybe different from your previous teams? Uh, just moving around a little bit more, I would say, if that, you know, could elaborate on it anyway. But just moving around a little bit more, uh, a lot of different routes that I want to run. Um, yeah, just moving around and a lot more routes. Coach was also just talking about the way you've, you know, conducted yourself off the field being a real real pro. How important is that as you come to a new team to set a good example? Yeah, it's important to me. Um, as a kid, I mean, I always did everything fast and tried to, when I came to practice, just work hard. And so it's honestly just a natural thing for me to come out here and work hard. But uh, yeah, I want to come out here and get better. I'm actually trying to get myself in better shape and feel the grass, feel the building, how does it look to catch a pass in front of this building. <laughs> just catch a pass on every field. So I'm just learning Everything about Nashville, everything, and just getting comfortable. When you, when you look at the potential of this offense, I mean, is there a fine line you walk between knowing what it could be as opposed to just staying in the moment and learning all you can as you go along? Yeah, so, I mean, man, once I'm out here running with these guys, you know, sweating, tired with them, throwing up some days, I actually, I don't care. I mean, I shouldn't say all this, but I don't be caring who the other team got. You know, we the best, and uh, we're working together, so. I should think that you know we're gonna be good, and that's you know that's why I'm you know that's how I work. I mean, if we're working together, I got all the faith in you. Like, nah, it's like going to war. Like, if I'm working with my brother, and we go to war, he got my back. Like, we we can die. So I mean, I mean, we all in at that point. But we don't care who they have on the other side of the ball. We're, our offense is gonna move the ball and score some points. Do you feel you know, that way? honestly, like you know, you never wanna you never wanna say that because. I ain't going to say you never want to say that, but, like, you, I don't make predictions. And just, that's true. It don't matter about who they got on the side of the bar. It's about us. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we the ones who we connect with every day. We the ones who bust our ass in the weight room and bust our ass on the field every day. So, worry about somebody else, that ain't – we ain't got to do that. But of course, we're not going to underestimate them. We worried about them? Nah, we ain't worried about them. Yeah. Do, you, do you walk a fine line with, uh, you know, thinking about the potential of this offense and staying in the moment and, and working and doing what you got to do day in and day out? Man, my days are extremely hard because I push myself. I push myself on the field. I push myself uh, in meeting room. I push myself in, uh, I push myself, you know, in workouts, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's just like when I take my, I, I like to have fun a lot. I play, I play all day. So, it's just like, I don't know. I just take one, I take, I take them, I don't take the moment for granted. I take one day at a time, one thing at a time. When I'm not too tired, I just try to, you know, and when I am too tired, I just try to focus in on the moment because at the end of the day, if you don't, Make sure if you don't take care of the present, you ain't gonna have no future. Yeah, how about you and Tony you talk about pushing each other? You guys pushing, pushing each oh, other? Oh, yeah, right we, we, well, we just had got into an argument a few days ago. I don't know if you want me to tell y'all, but we just got into an argument a few days ago. Um, just pushing each other, just trying to get the best out of each other. And, you know, we exchanged a few words, not no crazy words, but like, nah, we ain't, you know, we ain't finna do that. You know Is that just the competitive fires coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, we just, you know, just pushing each other, want the best. I want to see them, you know, I want to see both of us in top five rushing, and, you know what I'm saying, top five best back, you know, coming up this year. You know what I'm saying, with the O-line we got, we can, we can reach those heights, but, you know what I'm saying, we got to push each other. It started like now in OTAs. What are you learning about Calvin Ridley? Just the way he goes about his. Oh, business? he fast. him. I don't think he. I don't think he got like. I told him he got like two speeds. He got a hundred and one ten, <laughs> and most of the time he be at like one hundred five. I don't even you know. He just be. I don't, he just. He just don't stop though. He don't stop, and that, that, that's cool. I think he's. A, I think he's, he's. He's a great fit for that room over there. What, what would you like to improve on going from year one into year two? Um, just you know, just. And I'm doing it like just just like understanding all the details and like understanding that everything got to be 100 miles per hour. Just you know you can slow yourself down and just really see things out. And I'm starting to see things from a different a different lens too. Like things are slowing down, of course, and like you know I'm, I'm picking up on reads and I'm picking up on like body body demeanor and gestures and like different things the defense do that they give me the little tells and help me win at the end of the day. You learn from Bill maybe whether it's his drills or in, in the classroom over the first couple of weeks, months with them maybe. I feel like I've learned everything. Man. He, he, he's he been teaching us so much just about the history of the game, the history of these plays. Like he can, he recall, recalled a few plays from 2009 when he was with the Jets when 
Brett Favre got hurt because of, you know something something didn't happen up front. So uh, you know, along with that, just the detail and then, uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. Just learn from him. And, and one more for me, J.C. Latham. Yeah. What do you say, your young kid coming in the room, as far as how to handle yourself and how's he been so far? He's been great. He's uh, completely buying in. Uh, very smart. Has uh, came along and and picked up his offense pretty well. Him and Pete's been working great together. So. I'm looking forward to seeing where you know how he progresses throughout the season. You look talked at, about that connection uh, off the field, you know, kind of like with, with Will Levis, but mm -hmm. then also connection and knowing the guys on your offensive line is a yeah. big part as well. And obviously, your first year here, mm -hmm. Peter Skronsky's second year, J.C. Latham's first year. Have you seen that connection really grow during OTAs in the offseason so far? And how yeah. is that going? Yes, yeah, it's, it's still coming along. Uh, you know, we got together a few times as a group, just uh, hanging out, or playing card games, or you know, whatever. So. You know, that's big around this time of year. We have so much time in the evening. Just spending time around the guys outside the building, getting to know them. Um, that's a very underrated part of having a successful group. You, you look at the potential with the skilled players on this offense. I mean, do you mm -hmm. kind of say to yourselves collectively, hey, if we do our job up yeah. front, we can we can do some damage? That's exactly what it is. Um, that's the mindset I've, I've tried to preach to myself and the guys in our group. Man, we if we do our job up front, you know, we got – a ton of skill guys, you know, on paper, you know, we have maybe one of the best receiving groups in the, in the league. So, uh, and our running back duo as well. So we got to do our job up front, keep Will clean so we can get the ball to his guys in space and uh, open holes for Tajay, Tony, and uh, all the other running backs. What do you think is the number one thing you, you're going to bring to this offensive line? Uh, I think my IQ and uh, really my, my dedication to being prepared every single day. Uh, I feel like I, like this is this is my life. Like I love. Like I I go home. I watch film, man. I don't do too much. And then you know during the week on during the fall, man, I'm completely 100% locked in on just winning games. Like that's all I want to do. Just come here and win. You still the same vocal, loud, ardent that uh, we got to know last year with the new new coach and staff coming in. Or nah, I play? feel disrespected that you asked me. <laughs> Am I still? <laughs> Yes, I'm still the same. Yeah. Yes, I'm still the same. The, actually, the first meeting that uh, Callahan had, he called me out. He said, be you. Continue being you. Um, we need that, that Energizer Bunny, like everybody else needs, that Energizer Bunny, and I'm that guy. How much different do things feel this year? There's so many new guys in this team, and, and how's maybe leadership shaping up early on? Uh, difference is, I mean, it's all new. Just from everybody coming in, and the players we got coming in, got some good players came in. So a lot of the players that came in I know of and know what they do on the um, football field, so that that adds a tremendous help for us. Um, but the the new one, it's just, it's just new for everybody, for defense, def defensive coordinator, the coaching staff to the players, players to the coaching staff. A lot of guys here have been in the Tennessee system. This is their first year um, seeing new faces, seeing new coaches. I've I done seen new faces, new system, new new so it's me just teaching them, hey, well, just pick one word and go with that word. Don't try to memorize everything because you're gonna be all over the place. Or try to correlate something last year that same to this year, and if you can remember it, correlate that. Those things. So those are different things. How do you think going up against a potentially dynamic offense like like this one here will make you guys better as a defense? Oh, better. Um, I've been against Brian Cincinnati the last. Three years on the face, Brian. So you're gonna see a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, just playing him in those games, you saw a lot just in the game. Um, we got him a whole year. He our coach, so we're gonna see a lot. Um, and it's and it's good to see those things early. So when they do come, you kind of recognize. Them. You guys feel confident uh, defensively? You can uh, create a more consistent pass rush this year. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna get into it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it, it, we we got a we got a good plan. We got good pass rushes, good pass rushes, and then we got the back end. Uh, yeah, yeah. How has it been the last couple of years wearing that that guardian cap? Oh, been been good. Oh, the oh, you talking about those mushrooms? What we call it? We call it mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean. Whatever they say, you gotta do it. So yeah, I don't like it. But what don't you, you like about it? Take away the swag. Not really. The, I mean, when I came in, we didn't have all that. So you know, it's football is football. Um, yeah, they trying to protect us and stuff like that. But you can't protect us on one end and not the other end. So 
or whatever. 